Okay, today we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about student loan that are going to, going into debt for college or for any type of vocational school like, like DeVry or, you know, uh, whatever type of school it is. Um, and whether or not it's worth it. And I, and I just want to talk about student loan debt uh, for a second. Now, student loan, oh, well, let's talk about the cost. Let's just say you want to go to college or let's just say college. Um, is it, if you go to college in the state that you live in, it's uh, cheaper than if you go to a college that uh, in a state that you don't live in. And if you go to a public college, it's cheaper than going to a private college. So a public college like uh, Cal State Northridge, um, UCLA, UC Riverside, um, as opposed to a private college, uh, USC, uh, Loyola Marymount. So uh, a lot of times... Um, uh, a private college uh, is probably is a lot of times like I don't know like thirty forty thousand per semester, and you're in school for four years, so that's you know, um, let's just call it even fifty thousand. So that's fifty thousand times eight, um, which is. What is that? Four hundred thousand. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times you can get grants and uh, uh, scholarships to offset that, and and your your parents uh, can help you. They can co-sign for loans, so you don't. Like graduate owing four hundred thousand, but uh, it's very uh, easy to graduate owing two two hundred thousand, and that's just undergraduate. And if you want to go to graduate school, then there's more. Um, and then if it's a uh, Cal State or a public college or uh, a vocational school, it's a lot cheaper. You probably end up owing fifteen twenty if that um but what i want to say about um student loans is that they're that they're on your credit for you know until you pay them off and you know, they're charging your interest at the same time um they they cannot be discharged in bankruptcy there's no way you can get rid of them i mean there's there are limited ways that you cut down on them but in general, you know, excuse me. In general, you can uh, you can't get rid of them. You just have to pay them, and it's 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 uh, very uh, hindering on on your your life. Uh, after you graduate, I think you have six months until you have to start paying them back. And so you, that that can stop depending on how much money you're making because it's not guaranteed that as soon as you get out, out of college or whatever school you're in that you're gonna get a job that's paying a good amount of money, but you still have to pay the loan back regardless. So, you know, it's possible that you can graduate from school, get a job paying forty thousand a year or thirty, and you know your your you have two hundred thousand dollars in student debt, in student loan debt, and so you can't buy a house, you can't you can't buy a car. Or you you might be able to buy a car, but um, not the car you want. You you know, it'll just hinder you. You can and even if you don't have it, you can't find a job. But you still have to pay it. And if you don't, then your credit, you know, is um, is a uh, is is impacted or damaged. So it could be very detrimental. So 
if you're going to go to school, if you're going to go to college, you should make sure that it's a career or a major that's going to enable you to get a, a decent paying job when you graduate. Because uh, if not, you're just going to have that debt and you're just going to start off life after graduation in a hole. So, so just do some research before you commit to, to loans of that amount. And, you know, there, like I said, there are, there are scholarships, there are grants, there, are, there is a lot of help out there for you. Um, but if you're not getting any of that or, you know, it's still expensive and it's still burdens, burdensome even if you get help. So you got to be very, very careful. Like when you're, uh, and sometimes you might have to choose something that you're not necessarily that interested in. Um, but you know, you can get a job later on and that's more important than, you know, well, I won't say it's more important, but is this something to consider? You could love, um, uh, sociology. Um, and, you know, when you get out of school, it might not be, you know, a lot of things you can do with that degree. Um, I mean, there might, I mean, it all depends on you and your situation and, you know, you might be able to, uh, <clears throat> make a lot of money with that degree, but it just depends on what you do. You might have to go to graduate school. You might have to. There's ways, uh, it's just, you know, you have to um, be creative in order to make the money. But, you know, as opposed to if you're an engineer, if you're a doctor, if you're a lawyer, if you're, if you are um, in uh, technology, you're in uh, um, STEM, basically. Uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, I believe. Um those generally uh, pay a lot of money and you'll be able to, you know, pay your student loans. But if you have a job that's not like that or it's a career that that is hard to get into or it doesn't translate into a, 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 a good job right after you finish school, then, you know, think about it. And then also you have uh, junior colleges also where you can – go for two years and they're really inexpensive and you can save two years of college you could transfer after that um so is this something to think about something i wish somebody would have talked to me about before i signed uh for all those loans i got in school and you know and you know 20 30 years later after college i was still paying for them. um and it's not fun so those are my thoughts on taking out student loans to uh, go to college or vocational school. It's not a bad idea. It's just you got to be careful or strategic when you're doing it. All right.